going to explain you here. So there are a few terms are there in linear programming that you have to remember. And the first one is like uh, optimize, optimize. Optimize. What is the mean by optimize? Optimize nothing but either we can find a max, maximum value or minimum value. Okay, here all of you observe carefully here. Uh, see, here maximize. Maximize z is equal to 3x plus 4y. So this z is equal to 3x plus 4y, it is called the objective. So objective function, right? It is called objective. So optimize nothing but either we can minimize or maximize. The first question they're asking about maximize the given objective function. This is called objective function. To find the uh, maximum value of the given objective function, definitely they give some constraints. Constraints. So what does it mean by constraints? Linear inequalities. Okay, here objective function, three terms. So one is objective function, another one is second one is constraints. Okay, a third point is the third point is non-negative, non-negative, the non-negative restrictions. Okay, non-negative. restrictions so non-negative restrictions means here clearly they have given okay observe here here x plus y so inequalities means either it is lesser than or lesser than or equal to uh, and the greater than or greater than or equal to okay inequalities so here we are going to discuss uh, like the constraints may be lesser than or equal to 4 may be greater than or equal to 4 right Okay, so if you want to maximize the function, whatever the function is given, that is called objective function. Okay, so whatever the conditions like linear inequations are given, that are called constraints. Coming to what about this non-negative restrictions, non-negative restrictions, these are the non-negative restrictions. So what do you observe here? X is greater than or equal to 0. Y is greater than or equal to 0. When you see that in every question in every question maximum they have given okay here the non-negative restrictions are see here in all the questions what do you observe here in every question mostly they have given non-restriction non-negative restrictions like we have to find the region region first we have to find the feasible region feasible region Feasible region in all the questions there exist in only in first quadrant. When you see the all the questions, all are like uh, non-native restrictions are given. Okay, we have to find the feasible region. I'll, I'll tell you what is the mean by feasible region and all. So here x greater than or equal to zero, y greater than or equal to zero. What is the mean by that? When you take x axis and y axis, the region, the required region, we are going to get in first quadrant alone okay okay uh, first we have to find the solution that the solution is there feasible solution is there optimal solution is there okay like the different types of solutions are there like uh, differential equation we discuss general solution then after that particular solution in the same way here also solution is a feasible solution optimal solution but what is the mean by solution Solution nothing but that we know very well. So the x and y value should be satisfy the given equation. For example, there are two equations, x plus uh, 2, uh, 3y is equal to 6 and uh, uh, 3x plus 2y is equal to 6. Okay, uh, then like, okay, uh, you can take like it is equal to 5, 5. Then what is the solution for these two equations? x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. So this x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 is the solution. In the same way here also, solution means the x comma y is called the solution. Okay. 
the feasible solution is obtained from the solution and uh, like okay first do you understood we are in the second question minimize it is a objective function so what are the constraints they have given constraints means linear inequations so yet there are given two constraints like there are totally four but this is non negative non negative restriction so your linear inequalities are like in equations so to draw the first we have to find the region region in the sense we should use graphical method okay i'm going to tell you what is the mean by graphical methods and everything so the questions are very very easy my dear that no doubt at all okay so how can you find the solution look at here so uh, here x plus y lesser than or equal to 4 they have given first we have to take as a equation x plus y x plus y is equal to 0 and see here here we have to find the region in first quadrant alone because x is greater than or equal to 0 y is greater than or equal to 0 nothing but the region the required solution will get in only first quadrant and no need to find the graph in second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant for all these questions just we have to find the a uh, corresponding region in first quadrant okay here x plus y is lesser than or equal to 4 they have given but i am taking equating to 4 uh, to get the uh, to get the line to draw the line okay when i x is equal to roughly i am explaining like i'll write uh, each and every step don't worry but roughly i am explaining to understand a very very easy problem like when i put x is equal to 0 here y is equal to 4 when y is equal to 0 x is equal to 4 you can identify these uh, points on x axis and y axis here x value for y value for 0 comma 4 now you can join them these two points by a line yeah this is the required equation x plus y is equal to 4 but here x plus y lesser than or equal to 4 now you have to check that see this line yeah this line this line can divide the plane into two equal parts okay every line can divide the plane into two equal parts this line also equal this is the first part this is second part okay but here x plus y x plus y lesser than or equal to 4 what is the required region what is the solution region for this x plus y lesser than or equal to 4 either part 1 or part 2 either easier part one. part one how can you say the part one is a solution region so <clears throat> you have to take any point randomly in part one or part two okay you have to substitute in given equation it's better to in all the questions you have to take the point as 0 comma 0 you can substitute in the given equation x plus y lesser than or equal to 4 when i take here uh, the point as uh, 0 comma 0 substitute here 0 plus 0 is 0 plus 0 is 0 is 0 is lesser than or equal to 4 or not lesser than means we should not take equal it is not equal but is it 0 is lesser than 4 when i take the origin i am substituting in the given inequality x plus y lesser than 4 is the 0 comma 0 satisfies the given inequality or not yes sir yeah it satisfied okay 0 comma 0 satisfies means 0 comma 0 is one of the solution of one of the solution of this x uh, inequality so that 0 comma 0 belongs to which part first part or second part part 1 so that here yeah, you can share the region this is the required region this is the required region but okay this is the solution region of the given inequality that already you studied in class 11 okay this is this, this lower lower part upper part lower okay lower bounded region right so we got here part 1 is the solution region of this inequality x plus y lesser than or equal to 4 but what are the other two inequalities x greater than or equal to 0 what about the region of x greater than or equal to 
yes students anyone x greater than or equal to 0 means this x can take only sorry not this x positive value x is positive means where x is positive right sir this is the region of x is positive x greater than or equal to next y greater than or equal to 0 y greater than or equal to 0 here yeah y means above x axis when you observe all these regions like if you take uh, here you can you can easily get that you can easily understand yeah this is the graph here we got it what is uh, 4 comma 0 and uh, 0 comma 4 Here clearly we substituted zero comma zero. Zero comma zero is a solution of x plus y is lesser than four. Okay, so now we can shade the region here. I'm going to shade the region here. Okay, the required region is. Part one. Every line can divide the plane into two equal part. okay so this is the required region for x plus y x plus y lesser than or equal to 4 fine equal to 4 means the line the line this is x plus y is equal to 4 but this is x plus y lesser than 4 region what a yellow region right now coming to x greater than next one is x greater than or equal to 0 x is equal to 0 means y axis x is equal to 0 means that we know that y axis but greater than 0 means the positive yeah yeah this is x greater than 0 but now what about y greater next y greater than or equal to 0 y is equal to 0 means x axis y greater than 0 means above x axis okay okay this is okay finally when you see that for all these uh, graphs so what is the common common region for all three yes x greater than 0 y greater than or equal to 0 x plus y so this is the common part this is the common region for x plus y lesser than or equal to 4 because you know x greater than or equal to 0 y greater than or equal to 0 means only first quadrant the area belongs to first quadrant in first quadrant this re, this area is belongs to x plus y lesser than or equal to 4 so nothing but this is the this is the required required feasible feasible region there are three points are there okay there are three points are there like uh, origin is the uh, there are three points means corner points okay this is corner point method with help of corner point method also we will uh, maximize we can minimize means we'll get the optimal solution optimum means either it may be maximum it may be minimum with help of corner point method like right? okay i'm going to uh, take the corner points there are only three corner points one is origin another one is the 4 comma 0 another one is 0 comma 4 okay so this whatever the region here we get it this region is called the feasible region feasible region okay feasible region right solution nothing but here x greater than 0 means it has infinite solution y greater than or equal to 0 means it has infinite number of solution x plus y lesser than or equal to 4 means it has infinite solution like but feasible feasible region means only the region which is between the corner points so maximize after finding the corner point see here 
z is equal to what is the uh, uh, like uh, objective function they have given z is equal to 3x plus 4y z is equal to here yeah, they have given the objective function is uh, 3x plus 4y right here we got three corner points one is 0 comma 0 one is 4 comma 0 and 0 comma 4 like okay substitute these three points here when i substitute 0 comma 0 z value 0 when i substitute uh, 4 comma 0, 3 into 4 plus 4 into 0, that is 12. This is at 4 comma 0. Next, the last point is 0 comma 4. When is uh, 0 comma 4, means x value 0, y value 4. When is substitute here, z is equal to uh, 3 into 0 plus 4 into 4. Nothing but z is equal to 16. See here, there exist three values for objective function. One is 0, yes, one is 0, and another one is 12, another one is 16. Among these three values, what is the highest value? Yes, 0, 12, or 16? 16. This 16 is the required, required answer. I hope that you understood, uh, like, uh, some you got some idea about this how to maximize the maximize means first we have to find the required region required region common region for all the constraints all the constraints okay so this remember that this is called the objective function so this linear inequality is called constraints and this x greater than or equal to 0 means x can take only positive values and uh, y can take only positive values. This is called non-negative restrictions. Okay. First, uh, you should identify that what are the given constraints coming to your given objective function is 5x plus 3y here. They ask me again, maximize. Next question is minimize. So these are the objective functions. Maximize means, means indirectly optimize sometimes they may ask optimize optimize means uh, like uh, either it may be maximize or minimize and uh, here there are in this uh, lpp we are going to discuss about two topics two region one is bounded region another one is unbounded region one is bounded bounded region Another one is unbounded region. Okay, so in syllabus, in syllabus we are having only bounded region. Or in revised syllabus, we don't have any unbounded region. Unbounded region means area of the region should not be finite, it should be infinite. It may be plus infinity or it may be minus infinity, then that is called unbounded region. For example, for example, here, here, whatever the graph I draw, this is belongs to bounded. The area is finite. The area lies between these three corner points. This is a finite bounded region. Bounded region is feasible region. Unbounded region is other than this region, other than the, this region. Okay, when I take here, same, like x axis and y axis okay okay fine the above one i'm going to consider this like the region we got uh, lies between uh, 4 comma 0 and 0 comma 4 okay but okay this the area belongs to first part part one so that uh, we drawn that shaded we shaded this region we got like this okay this is the required region, but this is belongs to part one. Part two will be there. In case uh, you are in the question number one, question number one, they have given x plus y is lesser than or equal to 40. Instead of that, instead of that, if they give x plus y is greater than or equal to 4. Let us see here. x plus y is greater than or equal to 4. Easier 0, comma 0 is belongs to this region. Substitute 0, 0. This origin is belongs to this region. 0 plus 0 greater than or equal to 4. If 0 is greater than 4, 
is it possible no so that the required region is not belongs to part 1 is not part 1 the required region is part 2 when i shaded this region other side it will tends to where what about this region am when i shaded the region in part 2 okay and uh, same non zero restrictions x greater than or equal to 0 y greater than or equal to 0 we are going to get the region in first quadrant okay but uh, what is the region can you find the area of this region what about the area of region infinite sir it is infinity this region is called unbounded unbounded okay this problem is called unbounded the area should not be a finite it is infinite okay uh, unbounded concept you don't have okay fine now i am going to explain you i hope that you got uh, an idea about uh, uh this is called objective function these are called constraints so these are called non restrictive uh non restricted non negative restrictions okay coming to uh, let us do the problem or else uh, i'm going to explain the problems okay so actually the linear programming means so it is a important optimization optimization means minimum minim uh like a linear program it is very important one uh, we have to optimize optimize means minimization or maximum what is the use so this is a technique uh, uh, this is uh, used in decision making in business and uh, everyday life for obtaining the maximum minimum values as required of linear expression to satisfy the certain number of linear restriction that is constraints non negative restrictions okay like uh, we have to in invest uh, uh, like uh, we need maximum profit okay with minimum yes twins so with minimum budget for for example in, with help of minimum budget we require maximum profit okay so such type of such type of problems are depending on linear programming problem okay so minimum resources maximum benefit okay analysis by this linear programming problem so so here a uh, linear programming is linear name itself linear so here we may apply uh, for we may take three variables also like uh, z is equal to here in all the question they have given just it is related two variable x plus y right so sometimes they uh, we may take three variable four variable n variable also we can take n variable like okay first we will do the problem here objective function means i'll explain your objective function objective function can be denoted by z the function which is to be optimized is called objective function constraints means the system of linear equations and equation under which the objective function to be optimized with help of this constraints we need to optimize the objective function optimize the objective function means find the maximum or minimum accordingly if they ask minimum we can find minimum if they ask maximum we can find the maximum okay okay i'm going to do the second one next we having like a uh, few important uh, points will be there a yeah, solution nothing but the set of values of x comma y here. the set of values of x comma y satisfying the constraints this x comma y satisfy the constraints is called the solution feasible solution of l f if nothing but feasible feasible solution very important feasible solution of lpp what is the mean by feasible solution of lpp the set of values of variable like x x comma y here just uh, objective function is depending on only two variable okay this variable 
satisfy the constraints as well as non negative restrictions non negative restrictions of lpp is called see x comma y satisfies only the constraints only the constraint that is called solution but this x comma y is also satisfy the non negative restrictions then this solution is called feasible solution and x comma y satisfies the constraints as well as non negative restrictions as well as x comma y is also belongs to the objective function objective function okay that is called optimal solution optimal solution x comma y satisfy only constraints only constraints given constraint that is called solution x comma y satisfy constraints as well as this non negative restriction that is called feasible solution x comma y the feasible solution is said to be optimal solution the feasible solution is said to be optimal solution of linear programming so it is also optimize the optimize the given objective function means that okay so here uh, the, the same function should be optimize the given function then that is called optimal solution so here with help of graphical method only will find the optimal solution graphical method means here i am taking x axis y axis i found that a feasible region okay so graphical solution means the solution of linear programming is obtained by graphical method see i drawn the graphical method we got the corner points at the corner point i checked that uh, uh, objective function value so whatever it is maximum value it is a maximum value of z here zero is a minimum value in case the same question if they ask minimize minimize means we have to write at last the minimum value of the given objective function is zero if they ask minimize the answer is zero if they ask maximize the answer is 16 okay so in graphical method we have to draw you have to drawing that graph of corresponding constraints and non negative restriction is called the graphical solution okay this is the constraints this is non negative restriction okay we have to draw the graph that is okay fine uh, here whatever the point here see at 0 comma 4 we got maximum value 0 comma 4 we got maximum value this point is called fundamental extreme point fundamental extreme point okay that all i'll be right properly no problem so let us do the second one by writing all the steps second question student the newspaper uh year first write the given function don't worry download in shorts okay. to read short news what is the function amma what is the objective function they have given z is equal to minus 3 plus 4 Minus three x plus four. Okay, what are the given constraints? Constraints means linear inequalities. Or uh, x plus two y lesser than or equal to eight. 3x plus 4y. See, mostly, if you see all the question, uh, mostly they may give uh, most of the question they have give like lesser than. If they give both will be they'll give lesser than. Maximum both will be greater than, but they don't give one is lesser than one is greater than. In rare cases they may give right. See here in question number two lesser than lesser than. 
lesser than lesser than greater than greater than lesser than lesser than greater than greater than like that okay so here constraints are 3x plus 2y so lesser than or equal to 2y and non negative restrictions are common 3x plus 2y sir okay 3x plus 2y is I'm going to write the solution. So what shall we do? Easier we'll do maximize or minimize? Minimize. Minimize. Okay. First, I'm going to take the given linear equations as equations okay first i'm going to find the feasible region feasible region which is determined by the this linear inequalities so first x plus 2y is equal to 8 and another linear inequality 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. you can consider as the equation Okay, right. Now, when I take uh, y is equal to 0 here, y is equal to 0, then what about x value? x is equal to 8 and x is equal to 0 here. First, you have to draw the graph, okay, like uh, y is equal to 4. In the same way, you have put x is equal to 0. What is y value? Uh, 6. When y is equal to 0, x value is 4. Right? I'm going to end uh, x greater than or equal to 0, y greater than or equal to 0. Sir? Yeah. Sir, can we do this in graph notes, sir? You have to do in graph notes only. Okay, I'm explaining here uh, roughly, but in examination, we have to use graph, graph notes. Okay, here we got all the positive values. Like uh, first, I'm going to draw the gra graph of x plus 2y is equal to 8, x is equal to 0, and uh, y is equal to 0, x value is 8. I am going to take here 2, 4, 6, 8. I am taking 2 units on the both axes. Okay. So, clearly the point will be let us take that uh, this is clearly origin 0, 0. Here the point I'm taking here, uh, this is A, this is 8 comma 0. And what about another point when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 4. So this is 2, 4, 6, 8. This I'm taking as a point B, B is 0 comma 4. Okay, when I join these two points by a line, Yeah, this is a graph of the line x plus 2y is equal to 8. x plus 2y is equal to 8. This line is x plus 2y is equal to 8. In the same way, 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. Now identify the points on that. Okay, identify the points. What are the point x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, x is equal to 4. This point I am taking as c, that is a 4 comma 0 and 6. Oh, sorry here. About this line is different.
the line which is passing to the clear ma this is the line expressed to y is equal to 8 next one is uh this 0 comma 6 join these two points and before that before that i'm going to find the region solution region for this uh, x plus 2y have given what is the constraints they have given inequality okay this is just x plus 2y is equal to 8 and lesser than 8 also there okay lesser than 8 also there i'm going to take that x plus 2y lesser than 8 when i substitute 0 comma 0 now i'm going to check whether 0 comma 0 is the solution or not this line can divide the region into two parts okay part 1 part 1 part 2 right this is part 1 part 2 so what is the re solution region is it the solution region of x plus 2y is equal to 8 is part 1 or part 2 lower bounded region or upper bounded region by substituting 0 comma 0 put 0 plus 2 into 0 is lesser than 8 0 lesser than 8 yes 0 comma 0 satisfies the given linear inequality so that the required region is is part 1 lower bounded region okay this is a region required region of x plus 2y lesser than or equal to 8 equal to 8 the line line represent equal to 8 lesser than 8 okay in the same way now second one i'm going to identify the points on that here we got uh, these two points the line passes through the points right yeah this is the required line required line what is the line equation here second one 3x plus 2y is equal to 12 3x plus 2y is equal to 12 this is the graph of the line but here lesser than 12 or greater than 12 the inequality lesser than 12 so again i am going to check whether this line also can divide the plane into two equal parts again part 1 part 2 right so again i am going to take randomly one point that is origin 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 i want to substitute here so this 3 into 0 plus uh, 2 into 0 lesser than 12 or not 0 lesser than 12 yes it is also like 0 comma 0 is the solution now you can shade at the region again 0 comma 0 is solution what is the region will take yeah fine but uh, right next one it has both the lines part 1 means it is a unbounded regions we got unbounded region we got but they have given clearly non negative restriction x greater than or equal to 0 what is x greater than or equal to 0 region student x greater than 0 means uh, like this x greater than 0 means this region x greater than given a right side of y axis this x greater than given then what about the region y greater than or equal to 0 y greater than or equal to 0 means okay if i take this region y greater than means above the x axis above the x axis when you see here what is the common region for all this 
the common region for uh, all constraint given constraints and non negative restriction is given by yes anyone student the common region is one sir yes the region which is belongs to first region. quadrant exactly this region the region is belongs to first quadrant this is the common region so this is the common region and here we having a corner point i told you very clearly the corner points are very very important so what are the corner points students here the corner points are given by look at this this okay here we know that three corner point one is clearly this is 0 comma 0 this is uh, 4 comma 0 but uh, this is 0 comma 4 fine then what about this point this is the point of intersection of given inequalities okay so what are the given inequalities one is you can solve the equation x plus 2y is equal to 8 and another one is 3x plus 2y is equal to 12 am i right 3x plus 2y is equal to 12 now solving these two equations, we are going to get a point that is a, a corner point, right? So here uh, minus minus minus. So get cancel here minus two x is equal to minus four x is equal to two. When x is equal to two, what about y value? Y value is substitute here two. Two take six. Sir. That is y is equal to three eighty. Am I right? So this is the point. This is the point like uh, 2 comma 3. Yeah, we got four corner points. What are the four corner points? One is oh, 0 comma 0. I'm taking another point as a. A is 4 comma 0. Uh, already I'm giving this a. Let us take this is some other point. Uh, B is, B I'm taking a 0 comma 4. And the final year we get 2 comma 3. 2 comma 3 I'm taking as C. So z value, you have to find at all these points z value, whatever the value here, yeah. question is what minimize. So among these four values, whatever it is minimum, whatever it is minimum, that is the required answer. Students, today we are having one more class, for you you can join in the MJ common class. Okay. So substitute these points in given objective function and get a value four values will get among that whatever it is least value that is required in index. so here we need to write some uh, one or two steps like the required feasible region the required feasible region determined by the uh, by the system of constraints as follow like that you can write as follow like that you can draw the graph that's it the corner points of feasible regions are zero comma zero like that, you have to write in words. Uh, uh, corner points of the feasible regions are 0, 0, 4, 0, and uh, uh, 0, 4, and 2, 3. The values of z at the corner points are like four values you can write. Among that, whatever it is, value is minimum, that is least, that is minimum.